dash away! Now dash away, dash away, dash away all! Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble. About what? Say it with me. Anything and everything. I knew you could. All right. (laughs) So what are we going to talk about? Well, I got it. I'm going to assume you can read this, and the flash is not uh, (laughs) blinding it, but this is the... Uh, DoorDash um, starting pack. So I am going to start working on this and hopefully making a little bit of extra money so I can take care of things around the house and do some investing. So let's go ahead and see See what we have in here. Kind of doing an unboxing or an unbagging in this case. Oh, okay. So we've got an interesting little uh, situation here. Ah, there we go. So, what do we have? Ah, Pull this out here. Is this it? I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay, there go the scissors. Okay. So, nothing in there. Aha! Okay, that was the card. So, so yeah, I'm covering the card up. So you get this uh, DoorDash card. It's a debit card, and it only works when you are picking up orders. You can't just go in somewhere and use it. It doesn't work that way. Um, and then... Ah, here we go. The bag itself. Little bag right here. And that's it. That's all that comes in here. Uh, the little plastic thing. <laughs> Not too bad of an idea, actually. You just set it kind of here in the middle, you know, or would that fit on the bottom? Make it stand out a little bit. Yes, it does, actually. Okay, so that little plastic thing, you can line it up here on the bottom and it helps keep this thing open. Is there a zipper? Is this a zipper? This is a zipper. Okay, good. So this allows you to zip this here so you can keep food uh, cold and warm and all kinds of wonderful temperatures. Oh, something else. Fell out. Maybe I can buy myself new shorts too. Okay, so you get this here. Um, as far as getting started, um, this gives you step by step on what you need to do. Um, you need to install the Dasher app on your phone, and it gives you one side is iPhone and one side is Android. And then there is setting up your red debit card. And then setting up direct deposit so you can get paid. And then you start dashing. Make your first delivery right now. Now see, I'm wondering, there was an orientation thing, but do I need to go to that? Because here it's it's kind of making it sound like I don't really need to go. I've got everything that I need and I just go make a delivery. But... So that is it uh, for the moment. I just uh, 
this is just a like a, a little vlog thing of of what I'm doing. Not everything on Shep Rambles is a news article or me ranting and raving about uh, Star Trek or Star Wars or <laughs> Doctor Who. Um, and not so much me ranting about the shows, but ranting about what other people are saying about them, or at least their attitude uh, towards it and how they're handling things. And uh, Yeah, I won't get into that. There's another video on that, so I want to just keeping this to the whole DoorDash thing. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm going to do this part-time. And I'm figuring that if I just keep it simple, I don't know this for certain, all right? But I know you can make about 6 to $7 a delivery. And if I can do at least two an hour for like, three hours, uh, then that kind of equates to about $12, $13 an hour, which is what I would expect to get paid at a part-time job. So I'm not really complaining about that. Uh, I have a Prius, so I'm not worried about gas. We're just going to do this part-time, so I'm not really worried about putting a whole lot of mileage uh, on it. Uh, if anything, uh, more mileage is put on that with my wife's work because she's got a waste that she's going to drive for that. So there's going to be more mileage on there because of that. Um, whereas the DoorDash thing, I'm just going to try to do it locally where I'm at, um, and not try to like go clear across town or something. Uh, but yeah, um, I figure... I figured two an hour is, is attainable at least, um, and probably three. Um, but if I can do that and do it for six days a week, um, I can bring in um, maybe anywhere for, from uh, what, 250 to $300 a week. And in a couple of weeks, um, that's enough for us to, to do a project uh, with the house. And then um, I can take a couple of weeks and invest that in stocks, um, <laughs> getting my uh, computer fixed, my i7 computer fixed, so I can start um, working on uh, some cinematic videos that I want to do and just kind of alternate. Um, couple of weeks, uh, you know, making some money to do house repairs, uh, a project, and a couple of weeks to do some investing, and, you know, and just kind of alternate back and forth. I don't like the idea of having to work a part-time job uh, for all of this year, but given our situation, I don't see that we, that we have much of a choice, but at least I can have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, I think the whole driving part is going to be fun and just, you know, delivering things. And I'm not going to limit it to just DoorDash. I do want to get the other apps too, like the Grubhub and the Instacart. And, uh, you know, kind of switch off a little bit, have some variety. Um, and maybe as I start getting a little bit more... Uh, experience and a little bit more efficient with doing these and I might do like a couple at a time you know so that way I'm kept busy and that um, hopefully will bring in a little bit more money but that's the thing uh, and I know I'm aware that you have to pay taxes and I just I consider that just like any other job uh, if I was working a part-time job making $12, $13 an hour, guess what? I would have to pay taxes on that. So I don't see how this would be any different, to be honest with you. Yes, there is the usage on the car. I realize that. But I don't think it's going to be that bad if I'm not working this full-time. Um or doing uh, Uber or Lyft. Eventually, I would like to do that, but I am 
I am doing my thorough research on those to make sure that uh, I'm going in there, uh, I don't want to say fully aware, but fully knowledgeable of the, my wife is laughing, but I don't think she's laughing at me, <laughs> but fully knowledgeable about the pros and the cons and all the tips that, that go with it as far as getting these little things set up in your car to help bring in a little extra money. I have a, I have a, a video uh, related to that. Um, but also being able to protect yourself against those bad eggs uh, that will try to scam you out of a ride or defending yourself in case they try to um, score you, give you a low score, you know, things like that. Because, hey, you know, we're going to be using our car. We only got one. So... So, yeah, I, I just I want to take a little bit more time um, to do my research. So that way I'm not going I'm not going into this blindly, uh, you know, not having a clue of all the little teeny little things that go on with it. So for all of you uh, YouTubers out there who are doing these videos and if you just happen to be watching mine, thank you. Um, well, one, thank you for coming to my channel, but two, thank you for making those videos in the first place. Uh, I find them very helpful, very useful. Um, I have subscribed to some of you out there. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate, uh, the work and the effort that, that you're doing to make those videos. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that's all I got for this episode. So, uh, thanks for watching me watching me, uh, watching this, I guess I'm here, watch me, anyway, <laughs> um, you know, I, you know, I, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, like I said, I got plenty of videos on this channel, tons of rambling stuff on uh, other subjects, uh, and uh, lots of things, uh, flight simulation videos that I do, and uh, Minecraft, I try to, try to do a variety of things on this channel. Uh, just to, you know, help attract uh, different types of viewers. I mean, there's, I'm hoping to, you know, viewers will find something on the channel that they like. Um, although I'm aware that, you know, they're not going to like everything. But I'm hoping I can make something that, you know, uh, is attractive to uh, people out there. But anyway, uh, I hope you'll subscribe and uh, support me and uh, be a Shep Rambler <laughs> as well as a um, killer subscriber and a killer follower. Yes, you can. You too can be part of the killer army uh, of killer television. But anyway, thanks and I will see you on another rambling video.